Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. Today I'm going to show you a non-edited full walkthrough on how to get all 100 steel ingots in the Fallout 3 DLC, The Pit. We will start our journey by entering the steel yard. So as we go through this whole journey, I'm going to try and count all the steel ignis as we go and by the end we should have 100. This is going to take a bit of time, probably between 15 to 20 minutes. But like I said, there will be no edits and I'm just going to walk all the way through each of them, getting them one by one. So let's begin our journey. The moment you get into the still yard, just go straight ahead and you will see the first two. One, two. Once you've got that, go back down and then head west. And as you go down west, when you go past this particular truck, you want to go on the right. And as you do this, you will see a door on your right. What you want to do is go ahead and go inside this door. Once inside, just go straight. So we're going to go east. And when you get to your first room, you will see some more ignits down there. So that's three, four, five. And then again, follow the path. You will come to a set of stairs. Just go down these stairs. And from here, we want to go through that door over there. You can just jump off here. And as you go through this place, you will see two pathways, one to your left and one to your right. Go down the right. And follow this path all the way through to the end. then we should find some more steel ignits. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now make your way back and this time go down through the left path. So we just need to exit this particular portion of it. And this time go down the left. And as you do, you will come to this door. This will be a locked door. You'll find some bobby pins down here. So just go ahead and collect them and use these pins to open this door. Once open, just go straight in and you'll find some more. Go ahead and collect these. So this will now be 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then go out and go through this particular path up the stairs and as you come to this big area you will see right next to a bed on top of the table stand the 20th ignit go ahead and get it and from here we will now exit this supply plant so to exit just follow this particular path it's very linear And you will then see this door over here. Just go ahead and push this button. It will open the door. And once you've done that, go ahead and exit out. When outside, just head right. And you want to go all the way down and we will find a further two still ingots. So this will now be 21, 22. From here, turn around and head south in between these two trains and you want to go all the way down until you see a set of stairs that are going back up once you see the stairs just go ahead and go up and from here you want to jump onto this rooftop and from this rooftop we will need to jump into that second crater so go ahead and jump into the first one first. So that's 23, 24. We also need to jump into that one over there. Twenty-five, twenty-six. Now you can just go ahead and jump outside it and follow this path. And we need to look inside this one now. And in here, there'll be another three. So that's 27, 28, 29. 
and then simply go back up the stairs across the wooden plank. From here, head down north, and you want to cross on this railing here that is right next to this pipe. So jump on it, and then jump down onto this train top. So that's 30, 31. From here, cross this wooden plank into that crate over there. So jump from here. And that's 32, 33, 34. From here, we need to go back to the stairs. So just jump out of this and just go across this portion of the trains and the foundations. And effectively go back up the stairs and cross the plank. From here, just head northwest down this particular portion and get these two. So that's 35, 36. Head back out and now go down this path. So you're going south and then go up these stairs over here. And in here, you'll find another two. So that's 37, 38. From here, go back down the stairs and into this particular area. So from here, look to your right and follow this path. Again, look to your right again, and you should see a set of tires. Behind the tires, you'll find a further two, 39, 40. From here, go up the stairs and go onto this rooftop, follow it through, and you'll find another two. So that's 41 and 42. From here, just jump down and you'll find another two over here. That's 43 and 44. From here, we need to head northwest. So hug this wall over here and go all the way around. So continue to hug it. And then in here, you'll find a few more. So that is 45. 46, 47, 48. And now from in here, head north and now hug this particular wall and follow it all the way down east. Continue to go east. So you should now see a, a number of barrels just sort of lying around. Again, follow this path all the way through to the end and you should find another further two. So that's 49.50. We now effectively have found half of the steel ingots. From here, we need to now head back onto that same stairs that we jumped off of. So if you just retrace your steps, and when you are able to, take the first left. So go left over here. Again, just go straight. So we're heading south. And from here, again, just go down this particular path and very soon you should see those same set of stairs. So these stairs here, go up this set of stairs and this time go across this wooden plank and you will find a further two here. So that's 51, 52. Continue down on this path and from here there will be two planks, one on the left, one on the right, go down the right one. And over here, if you now look to your east, you will find some right there on the floor. Jump down, go ahead and grab these. So that's 53, 54. Go up these stairs. And now go across this roof. And from here, you will see again another crater. We need to jump in there. Fifty-five. 56. From here, we need to now jump on the other side of this fence. So just simply go ahead and jump straight forward. Like so. Continue down west. And you should find another two. So that's 57, 58. Now head down east and now go across that plank over there and try to position yourself on top of that barbed wire.
go across this wire and we want to effectively go on that side now. So just jump down here and continue to go down all the way towards the end of this wall. Keep on going and you should see a drain and there will be some more ingots here. So this is 59, 60, 61. From here, head north. So you'll see a lot of radiation. Go ahead and collect these over here. 62, 63, 64. Now from here, we have now effectively done the lower portion of the still yard. We will now need to head up a bit. So just follow this path and we will make our way up our first set of stairs to go to the more mid-level area of the still yard. So again, follow this path through these gates. So we've effectively made our way back to that same set of stairs, but this time, instead of going right through here, we're going to go left through here and up this set of stairs. And we should find some more over here. So that's 65, 66. Go ahead up the stairs. And you will see something that looks like a makeshift shack. Go ahead inside. 67, 68. And now follow this path. And follow it all the way through. And we will need to jump on this pipe that's running parallel to us. So go ahead and jump on this pipe. And at the end of this pipe, we will find another further two. And by getting these two, so this is now 69, 70. From here, go back to the set of stairs. And we can't go to the very top of the steel yard just yet. There are a couple more we need to get that are more on the mid level. So to do this, we're going to head up this set of stairs. And we need to effectively go all the way over there where the mouse cursor is. But to do that, we're going to have to take a little bit of fall damage. So across this plank, jump on the other side of this fence. And then from here, look down and you should see some roof fittings. Try to land on them to dampen your fall a bit. And then again, continue to go down. And from here, just go all the way to the end. And as you come to the end, if you now go right, you should see a few more. So this should now be 71, 72, 73, 74. We need to go back on the stairs so to do this just simply follow this and then jump on this pipe over there don't jump off the pipe stay on the pipe and then use this plank over here to effectively jump on the other side of this fence and then back again up this set of stairs so again we need to go exactly to the same spot we were just before we jumped down so this is going to be a bit of a walk so again, let's follow all the way through. Now, as I'm sort of doing this, um, it is definitely worth getting the 100 because you get a lot of nice and unique rewards as a result of doing this. Okay, so we are now back to where we were just before we jumped off the roof. We still need to go into that same area. But this time, instead of jumping off the roof on the left hand side, we're going to follow the wall through on the right hand side. So if we follow this wall over here, then there will be some more still ingots at the very top corner over there. So if we carry on going down this area, there are some over there. So that's 75, 76, 77, 78. 
Now let's head back to that set of stairs and this time we're going to go all the way up. So again, just hug this wall just to make things a bit easier and use this plank to simply go up. So follow the set of stairs up. This is a very linear path. You, you really shouldn't really get lost over here. Keep on going all the way up. And at the very top, there will be a really big stash of these. So again, just follow all the way up. And once you get to the top, you will see another set of stairs. Surprisingly, go ahead and up these set of stairs also. Again, as you can see, there aren't any paths to explore as such. It's very linear. So keep on going. Again, you'll see another set of stairs going up. Again, follow this set of stairs up. And at the end, you should see a good number of them over here. So this is now 79, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Now we need to go all the way down, but we need to follow this path over here. Now I do advise you safe before doing this jump. You can very easily accidentally die here because of the angle that the pipe goes down. The game may consider the jump you make to be a really big jump. So anyway, if you're confident, just keep going forward here and try to go as slow as you can. Try not to make too many big jumps. And when you are able to see this platform over here, just jump on this platform. And from here, jump down. And then just simply follow this all the way to the end. So you should be able to see there are some still ingots over there we're going to go ahead and collect these so that's 91 92 93 94 95 96 and 97 so if you follow the video you've effectively collected all the steel ingots from the steel yard there are no more steel ingots in the steel yard anymore there's a remaining three that is inside so we need to go back out so to do that, just follow this path over here. Just go down this way and try to jump onto this rooftop. From here, head west and then jump off this platform down. And then from here, we're going to effectively head all the way back out. So if you follow this path and then from here, jump down again. And we are effectively back to where we started from. We need to go back through that door over there where we will find our remaining three steel ingots. So go ahead and go inside this door. And from in here, if you just follow this path, again, it's a very linear path. Follow it all the way through. And here, if you now look to your right and go down, you will see a crate and if you look inside this crate you will find the remaining three 98 99 100 if you now look in your inventory you should have a hundred steel ingots and that's it in this video i wanted to show you a full guide on how to get every single steel ingot without speeding up anything and giving you a clear direction as best as I can, showing you how to get each and every single steel ingot in the Fallout 3 DLC, The Pit, in the Steel Yard.